Hello, everyone, and welcome to Subpixel Aerospace. This is the briefing room. Joining me is aeronautical specialist scientist Ian Gibson. <gasps> Sir, are you saying I got promoted from intern Ian? Yes, you uh, were an intern and now you're an ass. Uh, aeronautical <gasps> scientist specialist. Sir, permission to call my mother from the company phone? <laughs> permission denied. Your mother has been dead for 15 years. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, for overstepping my bounds. You keep forgetting that. Uh, folks, we are here. Sorry, I was just getting chat up, so I had it. We are here to do the impossible. Those... I can't even I can't even say it because you know who's going to say it? We have a mission briefing. That's right. Budget went up. We can actually do video conferencing now. Whoop. Uh you ready for I the mission briefing? Yes, sir. Good. Cuz it's here it comes. Biffy new briefing room too. Gentlemen, at 0600 this morning we detected a launch from the atmosphere on the far side of Kerbal. From our reports in the field, it has been discovered that there was a low-orbit rocket launched from a plane in a sort of new reusable launch program. We believe this is more work of those damn commies, the Committee of Man-Made Interstellar Emigration. We need you two to design and test a similar style launch method, with the goal of putting the rocket in orbit, not just some fancy spaceflight. Get to it. Okay. Thank you. Did you hear what our mission is? I did. Um, there was an echo, but it's because I was hearing it through Parsec and Discord. Yeah, I uh, I, uh, <laughs> I turned off the desktop okay. audio for people at home because I think it was echoing for a second. Uh, our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to make a plane that a uh, rocket that launches from a plane into orbit. It's gonna be great. Got it. So we are it. going to have. A plane with a rocket underneath, and the rocket takes off from the plane and achieves orbit. Yes. Okay. So I figure, and we're. I am uh, going to start the clock. Start the clock. We got an hour. That's how they're gonna all. They're gonna execute the astronauts in an hour if we don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> and they call us the commies. Um, <laughs> Oh boy. Well, uh, okay. A failed a failed American is a commie. <laughs> so plane that's their origin story. Uh <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start with we we should have been like uh Slovakia's flight <laughs> like oh aeronautical God. or something. Whatever, some random country. Um okay, plane cockpit. Should we should we do the fancy mark two? Um I I think, I think, yeah, do the Mark II, because the Mark II is bigger. And then we can go to... Oh, let's just do that beefy... fancy stuff as well. Yeah, let's do beefy fuselage. And then, um, I think wings, I'm picturing landing gear under the wings, but we use the biggest landing gear possible so that we get space under the plane for the rocket. Um, how many suckers? Wait, do I need oxidizer and liquid? Yeah, I do. No. Well, it depends on oh, which for, engine you use. Yeah, but remember, so, this doesn't have to go to orbit. That's so. true. So we'll just do liquid. And then I would probably do a, a bicoupler at the end so that we can put two engines on it. I, <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of videos of people making Kerbal stuff, and the amount that mm -hmm. they just, like, place things and then hide things inside of things is insane yes, yes love um, it uh whoa look at these that's cool okay uh so engines i would sort by size you said there there's a coupler Aerod is that aerodynamic no it's it's in the fuse in the in the fuselage where you were fuel tanks oh and, and fuel tanks there's a oh, this coupler guy. no no, no, no. Oh, oh, my coupler. Uh, yeah, that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. are right. My vision is failing me. 
Okay, so now go to engines and sort by size. Size. I would go. I would go biggest to smallest, and that that way you can at least. It's a little bit easier to find the one that fits. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Um, and then as you're looking at them, you just want to see what if it's a liquid fuel, if it's a solid fuel, if it's a. Dangerous. And then this the other is... thing is when you when you look at it, you want to look at thrust ASL. Thrust ASL. 247 kilonewtons? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think if you right-click it... Oh, here we go. Um, it'll tell you the propellants. So that one needs liquid fuel and oxidizer. Okay, so we don't want that. I know there's... Probably want that. This one? That ramjet. Yeah, I think that's the one we want. Whiplash. Propellants, yeah. liquid fuel, air intake. I feel like this game, after the last update, became more finicky. Really? Yeah. I'm not saying that's surprising in a way. I I would not expect them to fix it, but I would not expect them to make it worse. Okay, so let's... I'm gonna put uh, wings on this puppy. Those are way too tough. Yeah, why don't you sort by size? Are you sorting by size? I am. I, I just didn't reverse it. Oh, let me do this. Well. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then for this, yes. these ones. Oh. Can you just hit Control Z? Yes, I can. How do I do. There we go. Can I do these at the same time? Oh, I can. Uh, I, yeah. That looks about right, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I would go ahead and do your Tail. rudder. Yeah. I don't think we'll need an elevator, but I think definitely rudder. I, I'm kind of guiding you just because I think we need to get this plane in the air as soon as possible to tweak it yeah, before we then throw paint. I am. I, over the weekend, I built two planes as fast as I could to see how, how they came out. And they mm -hmm. honestly weren't half bad. Oh, that's nice looking. It's so big. I, like that. Um, I, I know like they, have, they have these, uh, or not these. There's something oh, you surfaces. can put like, uh, yeah, the control surfaces. Yeah, we definitely need those. Um, I just put those. Them. I put these put next. On the wing. On the wing. Yeah, I like that. And then put them in like that. I, I don't think that matters too much because I think where you attach it is where the physics oh, occurs. Gotcha. Do I have to put those the length of this? No, no, no. Just you just there. need them so you can actually turn up and down. do pitch. And you're saying I shouldn't, I don't need the back wing thingies? I don't think so. Okay. Let's put some landing gears on this thing. Get the, get the honkers, because we want it to sit as high off the ground as possible. I think there's there's bigger honkers. Oh, boy. Yeah. This is what I kept running into so yesterday. Use, is, it, is it Q and E to rotate? Or maybe it's W, S. You, no, you can no, use... Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I love how I've forgotten a majority of this game like two weeks so That's the one thing is you you probably want to rotate those slightly because if you look at them you see they're, they're kind of towed out what do you mean towed out they're not they're not parallel with the uh, they're not parallel with the direction of travel with the train of the plane so I think you're going to have to place them and then use one of the tools to, to twist them slightly Oh I, oh, I see where it's doing that. Yeah, because landing gear suck in this game. They cause all sorts of issues. Oh, I... That's right now, right? No, they're, no, still they're towed in. But try using try using one of the tools. But now it's right. Uh, I think it's still off, but it's pretty close. We could we could just use it like that. And then let me put 
big one on the front. Yeah. And then I think we uh, check your control surface and then fly this sucker and we see how it feels. We want it to be like kind of spry and powerful now so that you you doubled that, by the way. That no, any gears doubled. Oh, is it, is it still double even if it's just on one? No, it's just I sometimes uh, it wants you to you yeah. started put put it in a place where it doubled and then it didn't go back to single when you moved to the center. This one was doubled as well. Okay. okay. Let's, then let's check I have to raise this surfaces. up, right? Raise one up. So it kind of matches yeah. the other one. Yeah, you could. I think it's got to go further forward. Yeah. Much further. Um, and then let's check your control surfaces. Okay. How does one could check my control surface? I think if you click the control surface, or maybe it's a right click on the control surface. Oh, on these puppies back here. Yeah. So you want those only to control pitch and roll. And not yaw. And then that seems okay right now. And, and then, then when we get on the runway, we'll have to... The deploy direction is like an inverse and sometimes it's wrong by default so we'll just have to keep that in mind gotcha okay and then i, I would check i would check the big the big wing in the back as well the rudder so this it's should just be all uh, right yeah exactly cool okay let's name this uh virgin boy mark one save God, i'm gonna play this game now good so good. I got to the point where I realized I couldn't realize my dreams in Kerbal Space Program 1 because I'm too much of an idiot and don't want to spend the time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, well. let's go back in and let's fix that. <laughs> um, I think yeah. it's Space Center? Because I know we have to clear the one. I'm trying not to do the revert. Yeah. Is that always like I guess if nothing happens, it doesn't matter, but. So, I, I forgot. We, we have to look at the center of mass and the center of lift. Yeah, right. Which is... So, we want the center of mass to be slightly ahead of the center of lift, I believe. Mass. So, it's not bad, but the problem is that you can see it's behind the landing gear. Yeah. So, should I what put the landing move... gears out? I think so. Yeah, let's try them all the way at the tips. I mean, not all the way out, but pretty far out. Doing that every single time. I think middle mouse is the is the shortcut, so you don't have to keep clicking that. Above, sorry. That looks good. They're a little bit in. You said. I think. Well, go go to the next tool. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe if you hold shift, it'll let you free rotate. There you go. Oh, yeah, it did that half. And then back. I think that's yeah. Better. Okay. And yeah, we got the center mass right in front of the center lift. I think we're. I think we're looking pretty good. I'm so excited. I love it. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of now. dumb stuff I play. It's so good. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Do I start full throttle or do I throttle up? I would say throttle up. Okay. So. Oh, we need air intakes, don't we? Oh, that's right. Yeah, so we could just throw some air intakes on. Uh, place center. Anyways. I think I like to use their, I think they're called like radial air intakes. Like they look like bulbs. Like bulbous Butthole. projections. Yeah, like real puckered ones. <laughs> I hate you so much. Okay, those are in aero. I think it's under, I think it's with wings. Maybe aerodynamic. Yeah, yeah. circular. Or Just no, I I would recommend um, 
Adjustable ramp. There's ones that, that are like flat. They're like oval intakes and they stick on the side. These ones? That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Because those you can... And then I, I would symmetry them as well. If you're going to do it like that. I, I think that may be enough. Because I think it's all... basically one intake per inch. It's weird. Oh, well, wings are weird. When you try and attach stuff to wings, they get weird. That looks cool now. Oh. Yeah. Brilliant. Clear runway. Okay, I don't care about it. Oh, yes. Yes! Oh. Yes! Okay. <laughs> so dumb. Whoa. Oh. So, just remember, when you touch the pitch controls, we have to figure out quickly if they're reversed. Are they okay? No, they're good. This looks pretty good. And fuel consumption is pretty good as well. I'm gonna do your landing here. Oh. <laughs> this looks <laughs> very good. I don't know why I'm listing so hard, but... I'm fully holding, uh, that's yaw, yeah. you're holding yaw. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. But I don't know why I'm falling on that side. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably just one. So we just need to get you, let's see how high this goes. What's happening? Oh, I'm running out of oxygen. Yeah. Okay, but so I, this I think I think we're looking good. Yeah, cuz this Yeah, we're Oops. high I... enough. Now, yeah, that that you can launch from here. Should have thrown a parachute on this or something. No, it's okay. Just go back to the space center. Actually, you should eject the curb <laughs> Should eject the Kerbals, have them throw their parachute, and then we revert to Space Center. <laughs> I don't think they have parachutes. I thought they have parachutes on them. No, Maybe I don't not. think so. <laughs> we got to go back to the Space Center. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we got to cook out later. <laughs> <laughs> These engines don't even turn back on anymore. Because... <laughs> Just oh, you. I think you have to manually reignite them. Like if you right click on them, you can do it. You can do shut down. But they're they're still a little low on. Yeah. Um, air. Air. Did you see the sun? Oh, what if? Oh, we gotta go back. <laughs> Um, okay, so now we build the rocket and then we attach it. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> What's the best way to do that? Sub assembly? I would build it. Yeah, I would build it in the rocket as the vehicle assembly building as a sub assembly with the struts fully attached. And then you could say, like, these are the attach points. Yeah, I uh, turned down the game. I know. I lost it there. Uh, okay. This is going to be a small rocket. Yeah, I think it needs to be as tiny as possible. So we don't need to worry. We can just give it a base-ish engine. 
Yeah, I believe so, because we'll be high enough. Yeah. From what I was when I was doing my research. I would I would sort by size, that makes it easier. Um What's that one I usually use? It's the Terrier, right? Are oh, they redesigned? So that's giving us 679 Delta V. Like not going to be enough, you think? I don't. I don't think so. Right. Add... Stabilize orbit. Let's add another fuel tank. Nine sixty three. I think that's worth trying. Okay. And let's throw ability parachute on there. And some aerodynamic a RCS, right? Like, what about um? I I think we can only get away with two fins because it's under the plate. I think if we attach it here. Like between the fins. Oh, I think yeah, that'll maybe. be okay. We can try it. Yeah. Um, you said RCS, which is in command. Do I? I need to do yeah. RCS. Oh wait, what's the uh, two options? I think these are just better. There Fifteen, fifty Gs. Twelve, fifty. More tolerant. That's up to you. Oh, but these are a lot. We are going to need some. Yeah, we are going to need some mono propellant. Yeah. I would just put a tank under the. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can get away with the bubble tank. Cool. Uh, I'll throw some batteries on as well. Okay, and then... So I think if you go to structural... I was going to do a docking port. Is that in structural? I don't think that would work. And here's why. Because you have to... When you do the subassembly, you, like, select... You it, it gets dragged in like a part. So it has to attach like it's a part. And so, if it's a docking port, I don't think the docking port is going to easily attach to the plane. Okay. Yeah, all the stuff I watched used docking ports, but I don't know how they use them, so... I, I would you use, right. um... You see the... to the left of the of the big coupler? The this explosive? One? To the left? To the left. To the left? Is this the big one? Uh... Yeah... Well, actually, go go two up from the normal one. That's the one we want. It's it's a low profile. Oh, it may be too low profile, though. Yeah, that's why I was thinking these ones. Yeah, so we put one of those on there, but you are you can just do middle mouse click. Yeah, okay. And then, um, and then you're going to make that coupler the root part by going to the where oh, you it's... select the transform. It's the, the one on the right. Free yeah. route? Yeah. Black part. Oh. oh, wait, sorry. Hit hit escape, I think. Or maybe not. So I think you need to click the current route and then... Like, you're, you're clicking the current route, the whole thing, you know what I mean? Which is the top. Mm -hmm. And then, and then oh, selecting the new route. Yeah. Oh, is it just grabbing it? Yeah, so if you click the top, which is everything, what does it do? It just, just selects drag it. it. Let's just click the coupler then. Let's see what that happens. Look to part as the new route. Okay, now click the coupler. 
Because it lets you click it? No, because I clicked it to start it. Okay, maybe try the opposite. Just click something else on the on the ship and then click the... Yeah, it doesn't let me select the coupler. Oh, maybe they took it out and they don't let you do that anymore. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think you've got to reverse the coupler. Oh, yeah. Not like that. You chose the whole rocket. Yeah, I know. Oh, I can't figure even... out. Is there a way for you to... Sh Isn't there an option for you to show me your cursor? In Parsec. Um, let me check. Parsec. It's making it hard in this game. Because I can't tell what you're... Clicking on oh, that. that makes a whole lot more sense. Um, uh, mode renderer. Uh, oh, you have to, you have to do it. Um, I don't think there's an easy way. Let's keep going. Okay. Why is the center oh center of mass got messed up? Okay. So are you looking this up? No. No. I I think yeah, no, flip it around. Flipping around puts it inside of it. Which is fine. It's fine because we can move it. But I, I can't, so that's the problem, I can't select it. Now well, it's inside. Go top down, go top down view. Now try and select it. Okay, well let's let's reroute it anyways and see if we can shove it on the plane. Because once it's attached, we can move it off the plane. Yeah. Okay. So I click reroute. Yep. I, what do I click first? Um, not the coupler. Okay, so I click this, but when I click this... Okay, now, now click it to place. Oh, and it gets rid of the reroute tool. Okay, yeah. so so don't select that, select something else. What's that? They're in the box. On the floor next to Um... Sorry, what did you say? So don't click the control, the command module, just click the fuselage. Anywhere on it? Yeah. Okay. Man, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, I'll, I'll look it up real quick. If you want to start putting the coupler on there, let's see if that works. A different coupler? No, I, I mean your docking port, like you were talking about. Oh, oh, oh. And then, and then you're going to reroute to the docking port. Yeah, I, th I think it worked. Okay. Well, you, I think you can test it by, if you click on the docking port, does that select everything? Because that, that's what it means by root. No, but it, it did before. Yeah. Okay. It there you work. go. Okay. Yeah, now you go. Um so now I need to make this as a sub assembly, right? Yeah, so you go down to 
you just drag it into that sub assembly drop zone. Yeah. Boo. 32 minutes on the clock. Woo! Okay, and now I can. Do I have to save this separately? You... I, I would save it just to be safe. Okay, and now I can open. Yeah. Uh, what did we call it? Virgin Boy. Marvel. Virgin Boy. <laughs> okay. So now you can just drag that. You can click on that sub assembly and it becomes a part. Oh, I had it open. You, you had it there, yeah. Okay. So then. So I should put another yeah, docking port here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had it working before with the decoupler, and the nice thing with that is you don't have to do the docking ports, so it's like a little bit less bulky. Oh, well, I mean, wait. I think it's less weight. But Why is that? That's not Why good. Why is what? See how it's off-center? I need to go back and fix that, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe just try, maybe try and redrag it back in and actually attach it. I don't think it. No, it's off center here. It it wasn't off center though. Yeah. That's Let's go I'm... fix it or check it. Uh. Good thing I saved it. Yeah, it is. Oh wow, that's weird. Okay, so now I can click it and reroute to that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Delete that. Air. Uh, open. Base plane. Virgin boy. Oh, open. Long virgin boy. Sometimes there these we go. controls are. Oh. Um, before we forget. Oh, it did it again. You gotta... <laughs> Why does it do that? Okay, second second plan. Just make a new sub assembly, but um, we'll try try to make one of the fuel tanks the root, and then we'll just attach it to a coupler already. Because I don't think this is gonna do anything. Yeah. Is this a is this a radial? Let me see. Docking if there's port. A, the clampatron docking port. I I think there's a. Is it there's, in separate? There's a. There's an. What's what's that one in the center? Dead center. I think the dead center one is on the cone. This is a clamptron shielded docking port. Um. I think we should. We can we can do. There's one that is that is in series. That looks like a fuel tank. Yeah, like that, this that guy. One. Yeah. And put it in there. Yeah, is it too big though? Oh no, it's good. Oh. You'll have to rotate it though. I'm trying to figure out the rotate button. There we go. Okay. And then, um, if you want to, if you want to right-click it and go ahead and open it, yeah, yeah, okay. And then reroute from there to there, okay. And then I can just rotate it when I place it. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, we may just have a need need like a long one on the plane to reach it. What? Uh, 
Just hit Control Z. I know, I go. know. I I keep thinking this is something that doesn't. The selected part has is not attachable. Yeah, so that's why I'm I'm not a big fan of the docking port. Weird. Let me see if I can. Okay. Let me try the couplers again. Maybe I just try one of these big ones. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you cannot select couplers now. That's weird. Okay, I'm looking stuff up. Okay, let me see that. Okay, I've got a, I've got a, let's try this. If it doesn't work, I've got a workaround. Okay, it's still normal. Okay, that's good. Uh... Nice. Okay, we got we got to check the center of mass and stuff. Okay, uh, center of mass. Yeah. Is now there. And the center of lift. Is down there. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's gonna scrape a little bit. Maybe if I lower these. I kinda wanna get rid of the fins. You wanna get rid of the fins? On the rocket. But I think you have to do it in this subassembly, maybe. Yeah. Let me just drop these a little bit. We can try it. Because we could also cheat and just have them like floating off. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, I didn't do any sort of staging. Um, I have to take oh, you can control. Do, you can do staging right? now. Yes. Let me look up. I always forget the shortcut. Oh, what? I... <laughs> <laughs> Pick the wrong. Oh one. yeah, you did switch to the base and turk. Uh, you're gonna use square bracket to quickly switch between ships. Square? Which one? I think either one. I think it's either like a back and forth. Twenty three minutes. <laughs> anyway no 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 oh are you in the plane you're still in the vehicle assembly build no but it, it, when you go that's weird when you do the plane one it lets you choose i guess the vehicle assembly building yeah. doesn't yeah what did you not oh you need to here hit hit open hit open Hit open. I go to VAB. At the top. Oh, I have to open that one. That's fun. Do you, do you have any pilots in there? Oh, also, I think you need to... I think what it's saying is that there's no, there's no pilot in the second rocket. How... Top, top left. Click the astronaut icon. Up left. Yeah, you're gonna have to hire some crew. <sighs> All of them. Thank you everybody. 
Okay. Everyone. Here we go. Okay. Cool. There we go. And then we can practice switching. And we can restage here. Okay, that does change easily. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> I think your stages are reversed, though. <laughs> but yeah, they are. We can add one for the parachute. Okay, you ready? All right. Yeah, let's see what we got. This is... How do I undock? Uh, I'll, I'll is there look a up quick the command for shortcut, that? But it's it's probably right clicking. Oh, we lost the fin. It's okay. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> please, please take off. Oh boy. She's a heavy one. <laughs> Put that gear up, boy. Oh, yeah. And then turn on, turn on SAS. Uh, I would turn off RCS because you're burning a lot. Of oh, gear. yeah. Oh. We're oh <laughs> I was literally trying to. <laughs> Hit the other button to stop it. This is very stressful. So the good news is we got plenty of fuel, so I think we just, I don't know, maybe go to like 20 degrees and we just let it sit. Yeah, I just have to hold it. And can you change your, I wanna see the app, the apoapsis or the apogee. Because that, that's what we want to keep an eye on. We want to get that apoapsis up, because that's really oh, going to determine it. not going up anymore. Ian. <laughs> oh. Undock it. Undock it. And then switch. You gotta switch. Fire it. Fire! Oh, because we're too low in the orbit. Okay, so the good news is we have so much fuel, so we could just <gasps> take a lot of fuel off. Whew. He's alive! It, he's alive. The other two are also alive. They landed safely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Space Center. <laughs> so I think we can just take a bunch of fuel out. Yeah. Of the plane or of the... Uh... The plane, because the plane's got, got too much fuel, basically. Um, so let's take, let's take it out of the wings first. Let's just like empty the wings. Wings are empty. All right, let's just empty. Can we do center mass, center lift? Cause that's going to determine how we, let's, um, let's empty from the rear. Oh, this doesn't need oxidizer. Oh anyway. yeah, it definitely doesn't need oxidizer. And then I want to look up like where do we want that? Oh, I can take the the wings off. I can just put. Can I do that? I can just do that. Okay, so the center of mass of the craft needs to be as close as possible to midway between nose and tail. And oh. never closer than two-thirds of the craft length towards the tail. That's not bad, right? 
Yeah, that's pretty good. And then comb in front of center lift. So should we try that? You saw I took the bottom thing off. Yeah, you coward. Uh, <laughs> you were telling me to get rid of it earlier. I'm just glad we're not having problems with the landing gear because I would have so many problems where the landing gear is perfectly straight and you're going, but as soon as you hit like 60 kilometers per hour, it the plane just starts like going to the left and like shimmying. Like the landing gear just doesn't let you roll straight. You. Yeah, because if you have to restage it outside of this to have it permanent, but yeah. we could just restage it here. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. Come on, loading screens. You're not counting those, are you? Uh, yeah, I've been stopping the timer for those. <laughs> I hate you. Uh. Okay, that's correct. Okay, launch. The other runway. I don't care about the pilots. They're dispensable. I mean, they're indispensable. Sorry, I'm just looking up. This is Virgin, but B Blue Origin is a crew on top of a rocket, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to orbit. I don't think so. Uh-oh. Cockeye there. Uh, oh, don't overcorrect. Oh, you <laughs> goosed it. <laughs> it's me. Of course I'm going to overcorrect. <laughs> it's a good thing this is flat out here. Uh, I would put your gear up. Come on! <laughs> it's like the spruce goose. No. It's looking good. I would just maintain this. Turn on your uh, sass. That's T, right? What is what is your sass set to? I don't know. On the left hand side. Left hand side. Of the nav ball, the left hand side? Yeah. That determines what it's set to. So what is it set to? Uh I'm going to crash. I know, but we I think it may be set. I'll look it up. How do you change that? You just click one of those. I've seen you change that before. <laughs> when you turn on SAS, then you get all those oh, icons on the left. Oh, 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 sorry. I, I'm, not, yeah. I'm on, it's just stability assist is what it's on. Which I, I Sorry, this okay, vehicle is extremely loud that I can not hear you super well. Okay. All right, so let's just, let's just dump a lot of fuel. I think, I wonder if the center of lift, we may have to move the wings forward a bit to get it closer to center of mass. Let me see what this guy says. Should I do smaller landing gears, maybe? No, no, because it's going to put you, landing gear is nothing. I think it's all mass. You're just too heavy. So let's get rid of some fuel. Now we just have 400 fuel. Okay, and then let's um, let's move the the wings forward, so they're a little bit closer, but still slightly. Should I do that uh, placement do or it. move? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try move, and see what happens. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So go. You still want them behind? Center of mass, but just slightly. Yeah, let's try that. We want to fly that? Yeah, let's fly that. Let's fly that. 
Yes, sir. This is turning out to be. Oh, uh, let me. Before I go, I'm just gonna turn the game volume down in my. Uh. I'm gonna turn you down. I'm gonna. No, turn voice it... meter should be fine. I'm gonna turn it down in game. It's loud. It's loud for me as well. So just turn it down in voice meter. Okay, that should be good. Except... Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh, she's moving good already. Oh, what are Wait, you doing? I didn't touch. I didn't touch a single thing. It's probably the landing gear I'm messing with it. Then. Gear up. There you go. They take. They take a little bit. Okay, this is at least better. Yeah, it's just on stability assist. But I don't know what... That that could... If you want to turn it off, that may be causing some of the issues. With it being squirrely. Ooh. Okay, maybe turn it back on. <laughs> I feel like it... The problem is it just doesn't hold when you're like... As soon as I stop yeah. pitching up, it just goes right back down. I think it's because the center of mass... Hi, Uraraka. I think the center of mass and the center of lift are not on the same vertical plane. But we can't really do much about that because the rocket is... Yeah. ...dropping the center of mass so much. So far... Looking yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I think once we... I think... We go... Until... I mean, the engines are going to cut out at some point, and then we just go to our apolapses or apogee. Yeah, we'll go to our apogee. To think. Yeah. Looking good. Woo! This thing's hard to control. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, no. Why? I'm going to kill engines. Kill engines. I think we should probably launch now. What? Why can't I? I don't think you have any crew in there. Oh no! Ten Wait, minutes left. Can I transfer? Transfer crew? No crew on part. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself! Bye! Oh, we turned the engine back on. Oh, yeah. I think maybe go. what's happening is as it gets altitude, the thrust is dialing back because it's losing air oh. intake. And then that's causing it to pitch over a bit. I should go land, right? No, you got nine minutes, buddy. <laughs> La the landing happened off screen. Everybody. Ooh. In my head. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So. This can we take a look at it again? So this is saying let's look at center of mass and center of lift. Center mass, center of lift. So, oh, we can't. Let's try to move the wings down. Down? Yeah, because we want the center of lift closer to the center of mass. Copy. I think that's going to make it more stable for you. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. We got to put crew in. Yep. Crew in. I remember. Ronald Reagan, go. Ronald Kerman. That's such a good name. <laughs> yeah, clear the runway. No, they're fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna implement a rule, which is if there is a flight in progress when the time runs out, the flight continues. Okay. Come on. Well we got eight minutes. It's a did you find the quick button for docking port or no? I, 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 I mean I guess once I'm up there it's not gonna matter. 
I think you may have to manually assign it. I don't know why I start aiming that way. And I, this is not enough to turn I, me. I, I think it's just the, the landing gear being wonky. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, we can go to bigfollows.com to buy followers, primes, and viewers. What? Yo, write down that, that hashtag link. I got it. Please? Come on. Anytime. I may have now. steered you wrong. <laughs> Anytime now. Oh. oh! It's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Oh, that's too, that's too much. I'm trying to, like, s tap it to settle it. Yeah. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> uh, the other thing I would watch is your speed. Just make sure your speed doesn't drop. Yeah, your speed's dropping. It means your angle's too much. launch rocket I don't think our speed's gonna get any better yeah what I still can't control can you control from here all right now I can oh oh how do I I'm dock it wait I'm not oh you oh. weren't controlling from wait. there <laughs> Let's oh just do a backflip quick. <laughs> All right, let me look at What this. is... How am I... I'm just floating. Ian. What is happening? Oh. Yeah, you should be plummeting like a... You should be able to turn like that. What? <laughs> what magic have I activated? They were saying... Saying backspace? Try backspace or tilde. For what? To switch control, possibly. I mean, it's gone. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. You should have seen it. Can I stabilize, please? <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to go drill to the center of the earth now. Four minutes left on the clock. <clears throat> oh, I reverted. I hit the wrong button. Um, I don't know what it is. Can you put a uh, autopilot on the, the rocket? That's... Well, I, I think you can just use the command and control module. That's an inline. Looks like a battery. Oh, uh... Yeah, that one. That's the big one. That one. And then yeah. I can just put a... Yeah. nose cone on it. Yeah. And then let's, let's just try that out real quick. See if we can switch. We're making progress, slowly. Not bad. Excuse me. Okay, now I can switch. 
All right, so I think we take off. Okay. good wiggle. That's good. That's good. That's good control right there. Were you being nice or mean? No, I'm being serious. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh! It looks so good. I literally... It looks so good. Oh, uh, we're good. Oh, that was just uh, a... It didn't happen. That was the pilot having a nightmare right before we took off. I don't know what I. I think away. it just bounced up too much and corrected. Like it stalled. Oh, we're gonna need more throttle, buddy. Probably. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Please stop being terrible. Looks good so far. Looks good. I'm just letting it list. I, I keep trying to correct it and it's not working very well. Yeah. Let's let's launch. Why? <laughs> but the rocket's helping. I like that. Why? Why is it doing that? Can you control from here? No. I wonder if I ran out of batteries? Uh, click, click the fuel icon in the top right. Now oh, you got, you got charge. Oh. Oh! That's so stupid. Nope, we're just going... Just going up! Make it to orbit. You know, we can we can undock the rocket. I mean then track it elsewhere, even if we can't control it. <laughs> oh, that puppy did not have enough <laughs> thrust. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was supposed Wait, to get higher. I think map view you try try hitting the, the brackets now. Oh, oh I had to undock go. it first. Wow, it is. Does not have nearly enough thrust. Oh, God, plane! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! It's doing better now. Man, now I kind of want to play some Kerbal and, and do this. Oh, it's it's a lot. Holy moly. I mean, this plane works pretty well. It's just compensating for the rocket. Yeah, maybe maybe it was a, a bad idea to do the rocket. Maybe we should have just done like a normal jet engine. 
I mean, this is a nice cruising altitude now. Oh, yeah, and you're going very fast. Yeah. So, like, if we launched the rocket now, we would have a lot of speed, but probably not enough. We could have made a smaller rocket and done, like, the really small probes on it. Oh, like an unmanned? Yeah. yeah. Well, folks, that's the hour. Mission failed. Who would have guessed it? Billionaires at Virgin Galactic. Turns out they did accomplish something. <laughs> Those commies beat us. I, I'm really enjoying this just gliding off into the sunset. Or sunrise. I'm not quite sure which. One of my favorite things to do in this game is to... And I think one of our future challenge is to try and get a plane as fast as possible. I think I've gotten it up to like 2,500 meters per second. Which is very difficult because then you start hitting heat issues. You start hitting control issues. And the whole time you have to be in the atmosphere. Do you think I could land? Fast. 100%. Well, we'll leave it up to suspense, folks. Uh, let me switch over here to the briefing room. Oh, why is... Oh, stupid... That's why it wasn't working. The thing popped up for me to sign into Apple ID, and it must have logged me out of the up deck thing. That's stupid. Oh um folks thank you for tuning in we didn't lose any kerbals today so there's no point in visiting the memorial garden oh nope. um <laughs> yeah nothing happened all alive. um if you enjoyed <laughs> this content uh you can check out all of our content subpixelfilms.com will bring you straight to our youtube channel uh i'm gonna start archiving these on the youtube channel when because it's a show so uh check that out there all of our other streams that are just us playing games. You can go check those out. Subpixel Streams YouTube channel. Um, Thursday, local chat. We'll be having Save Data's Elise on. So that will be a blast. Uh, and uh, Saturday, more uh, Roblox, I think. Right? I think that's right. I like I like watching you play Roblox. It's very fun. I'm sorry. It's just you're you're still gliding. This is oh. actually a very stable aircraft without a rocket. Yeah, I'm still going. Here, let me, s so people can see. <laughs> still going. It's kind of nice. Just, I don't even, the engines are off. Yeah, like, it's just gliding. It's, it's about to nosedive, but it's still gliding. No, because this whole thing is keeps moving forward. Like, I'm oh. not staying on this. The whole thing just keeps moving forward. But your speed is... Yeah, is I'll slowly do this, but... Yeah. It's because of the aerodynamics of this, though. Um, yeah. So, yeah, folks, thank you. Thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, and we will see you all next week. Not next week, Thursday. Thursday. Bye. Bye. Bye.